forget to like and subscribe to Soul Trip Joy YouTube channel. There's our website, SoulTripAJoy.ca. I'll talk a little better. No, you want me to. All right, welcome back. Tonight we are finishing up Hebrews, and we have an exciting announcement afterwards. So oh, here, oh. here we are. You know what it is. And afterwards, let's read Hebrews chapter 13. <laughs> Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing so, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Continue to remember those in prison as if you were together with them in prison, and those who are mistreated as if you yourselves are suffering. Marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed kept pure. For God will judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. Keep your lives free from the love of money, and be content with what you have. Because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we, with confidence, so we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teachings. It is good for our hearts to be strengthened by grace, not by eating ceremonial foods, which is no benefit to those who do so. We have an altar from which those who minister at the tabernacle have no right to eat. The high priest carries the blood of animals into the most holy place as a sin offering, but the bodies are burnt outside the camp. And so Jesus also suffered outside the city gate to make the people holy through his own blood. Let us then go to him outside the camp, bearing the disgrace he bore. But here we do not have an enduring city, but we are looking forward for the city that is to come. Through Jesus, there is offered the good offered to God a sacrifice of praise. The fruit of lips that openly profess his name and do not forget to do good and to share with others for with such sacrifices god is pleased have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authority because they keep watch over you as those who must give an account do this so that their work will be a joy and not a burden for that would be no benefit to you pray for us we are sure that we have a clear conscience and desire to live honorably in every way. I particularly urge you to pray so that I may be restored to you soon. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will, and may he work in us what is pleasing to him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I urge you to bear with my word of exhortation, for in fact, I have written to you quite briefly. I want you to know that our brothers Timothy has been released. If he arrives soon, I will come with him to see you. Greet all your leaders and the Lord's people. Those from Italy send their greetings. Grace be with you all. Any questions? No. All right. Dear Lord Jesus, we pray for our leaders. We pray that, that we will be pure. We pray that we honor you in all that we do. We pray that we are always hospitable. We're always willing to serve. We love you, Lord Jesus. This we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. All right. So, big announcement. Starting tomorrow. We're going to be reading from the book of Luke. We are reading from the book of Luke. We are doing an Advent 
countdown. We are like working, last year. We are working through the life of Jesus as we look forward to celebrating the birth of Jesus. So for the next 24 days, we will be reading a chapter of the book of Luke, because it's 24 chapters in 24 days. And then on Christmas Day, we will be reading the Christmas story from Matthew. So, yeah, join us in this Advent season together. And tell your friends. It's, it's a great new Christian uh, Christmas tradition. So we'll see you tomorrow as we uh, begin the Advent season together. All right. We'll see you tomorrow evening at 8.30 for another Mola of Joy Advent edition. Bye-bye.